Alright, here we are with Mikey versus Jeremy. Jeremy with the Mega Tyranitar. Oh no, Tyranitar. Sorry, he switched it. Tyranitar, Mega Garchomp, Excadrill, Milotic, Aegis Slash, and my boy Quagsire versus Mikey, who's rocking Primarina, Heatran, Corsola, Galar, Abom Mega Abomnusnow, Clefable, and Bronzong. And opening up for Jeremy's Sand Team is Tyranitar against the Water Fairy Primarina. Primarina got some pretty good stuff to use. Oh my god. Able to just take the hit. Both Pokemon pretty low, but Primarina cannot actually stay in for another turn. Jeremy probably looking to Earthquake once again. I mean, if Primarina stays in and doesn't heal, Primarina's dead. And it's a trade-off for one Pokemon with Sand for, uh, for Primarina. <laughs> like, a, a really good type against, uh, against Jeremy. Or Jeremy switches into Milotic. Which is also another possibility, for being honest. Nope, but in comes Bronzong. And in comes Milotic. This is fair. Leftovers able to heal up the Sandstorm damage. It makes sense to keep Tyranitar alive because Tyranitar is what's setting the Sandstorm. In comes Garchomp, about to be Mega Garchomp. It's poisoned, but I don't think it really matters. I guess it's toxic. It's a little bit scarier than poison, but it doesn't really matter that much. Mega Garchomp's about to come out with a Fire Fang. And it's going to deal a whole bunch of damage. Mikey classically disconnects, but in this time, let's use this little breather to assume the fact that Bronzong probably has Levitate, which is why Mikey switched it in, assuming that Tyranitar was just going to Earthquake again. Unfortunately, it doesn't really look like there's going to be a whole lot to answer this team, unless there's some fighting type moves, like Body Press was something Greg was talking about not too long ago in the previous Mikey match against Jake, I believe, and Bronzong totally, totally could have, uh, Could have Body Press, which would deal some damage to Garchomp, but not a whole lot, because Ground actually isn't super effective, or Fighting is not super effective against Ground. So Garchomp actually pretty good here against Bronzog. Nothing really scary. Oh boy. Alright, Mikey's finally back after taking a long-needed vacation. And we're resuming the match now in 2021. Here we have Jeremy rocking the black and white two avatar against Mikey's black and white one avatar. I got nothing to really talk about here. I could say that there's a few answers coming in for Abomnusnow and Heatran. I mean, plenty of these things, plenty of these Pokemon answer uh, Abomnusnow fairly well. Earthquakes, Fire Fangs, and uh, raw damage, and Quagsire seems to be here to handle Heatran. Boy. Yeah, you see Jeremy in the chat. Mikey is having some internet connection problems, so he's destined to make every match take as long as possible. <laughs> nothing, nothing we can really do about that. Ooh. Eats a fire blast. Nice that it hit, but Clefable being a fairy type, really good answer to Garchomp. Earthquake, though, kills it, unfortunately. Now things are a little bit scary. Primarina is not going to outspeed Garchomp. They're going to need a serious ice move, so it looks like it's coming from Abomnusnow, but Abomnusnow is not going to outspeed Garchomp either, and he's got to hope. This game kind of leans on either a sap strength 
and whittling down of Garchomp, or a bomb to snow, hitting an ice move on Garchomp. Instead, Mikey's decided to keep Garchomp in. There is no longer a Sandstorm. So the Primarina effectively traded uh, for, what was that, 38% HP or something, or knocked down to 38%. That was effectively what the Primarina was doing here, was that he sent him in to deal a little bit of damage to Garchomp, but it doesn't look great. I'll tell you what. Tyranitar is incredibly low, but there is not a whole lot that Tyranitar is going to do. Like, it doesn't need to do anything. In comes Aegis Slash, Stealth Rocks. Coming out for Mikey. Bold. Probably would have just opened with a Will Wisp if uh, I'm Mikey. They're pretty far behind. Stealth Rocks aren't going to do a whole lot. But maybe the chip, the overall chip damage might be good enough. In comes Heatran with a balloon. Now is Heatran gonna be faster than Aegis Slash? That's the big question here. Or can Heatran resist the attack from Aegis Slash? Jeremy's in a totally fine position. He is not worried at all. But these are the questions that they end up being is that <laughs> if Aegis Slash doesn't kill Heatran in this attack, it's probably dead to Heatran. Oh! That's not the case. Weakness policy. Of course, Shadow Claw coming in, bringing Heatran down to nothing. Yeah, pretty low here. I could have sworn that uh, Heatran was going to absolutely destroy him. Really good use of weakness policy from Aegis Slash. And then a crit from Shadow Sneak, but that's not even necessary. Shadow Sneak would have dealt enough damage to kill Heatran anyway, with plus three attack on Aegis Slash. Now comes Mega Abom the Snow. Yeah, Ice Shard getting resisted, Iron Head taking it out for super effective damage. is a little unfortunate. This is probably going to be the GG. I can't see Bronzong or Corsola really holding their own against a full HP Excadrill, Quagsire, and Melodic. Oh my god. Shadow Claw being super effective. <laughs> And just one-shotting the Bronzong with all those buffs. And now Corsola Galar is just... toxic It has sap strength, but... Melodic has leftovers and recover. And Jeremy's more than content to just hang out and watch this little coral fish monster just die from from poison. Yeah. Looks like Melodic Special Attack went up, Sap Strength really not gonna, or Strength Sap really not gonna do a whole lot here. Toxic is just railing with damage. And Corsola is dead next turn. Yep. GG, good stuff from Jeremy. 
probably just had like a team comp that Mikey didn't have a lot going for him in terms of answers. You gotta think the Clefable being the answer to the Garchomp would have been really, really good. But Garchomp just absolutely destroying it. So it looks like the type coverage just 